Owning a racehorse is like owning your own sports franchise. And one of the perks of being a racehorse owner is being able to design the silks, the uniforms the jockeys wear during the race. In the jockey's room at Arapaho Park, the silks are all organized by owner and you can see the different colors that the jockeys wear during the races. And it's the silks that I use to memorize the names of the horses because you can't always see the number during the race, but you can definitely see the colorful uniforms that the jockeys are wearing. The idea of silk and horse racing date back to the origin of the sport in ancient and Roman Greece when there were chariot teams that raced at the Circus Maximus in Rome, red, white, green, and blue silks. And then when modern horse racing started in England, each of the owners had to register their silks with the jockey club. And so some of the silks that horses have worn have become just as famous as the horses themselves. Let's take a closer look at the colorful history of horse racing uniforms. Jockeys' uniforms got their name from the material from which they were made, although silk has, for the most part, now given way to nylon. The design of silks ranges from classic to crazy. For the classic, you can look in the 1780 racing calendar in England on the shelves of the Keeneland Library in Lexington, Kentucky. The colors worn by the riders of the following noblemen and gentlemen. That's the year of the first Derby Stakes, named after Lord Derby won a coin flip to name the race for three-year-old horses held on his estate at Epsom Downs. Lord Derby's horses sported a green and white stripe. The first Derby winner, Diamond, owned by Sir Charles Bunbury, had pink and white stripes, as seen here with Bunbury's filly, Eleanor, who became the first female horse to win the Derby in 1801. The British royal family has its own racing silks, purple with scarlet sleeves, gold trim, and black cap that date back to Edward VII in the late 1800s. The Prince of Wales won the Derby with Persimmon in 1896 before he succeeded his mother, Queen Victoria, as King of England in 1901. King Edward VII's great-granddaughter, Queen Elizabeth II, is an avid racing fan, owner, and breeder. In 2013, the Queen's estimate carried the royal silks to become the first horse owned by a reigning English monarch to win the Ascot Gold Cup in the 207-year history of the Royal Ascot Races. In the United States, the most famous racing silks are, as one might expect, those of Triple Crown winners. The silks are often as recognizable as the horses themselves. Two Triple Crowns each for the white with red polka dots of Bel Air Stud and for the red, blue armbands and blue cap of Calumet Farm. Earlier silks tended to be simpler designs. Later silks incorporated more complex color schemes and personalization. The W shape on Assault Brown Silks was also the cattle brand for the King Ranch in Texas, where he was bred. There are the famous blue and white checks of Penny Chenery's Meadow Stable for Secretariat. And brighter colors were in vogue for the last two Triple Crown winners, a firm's pink, quintessential 1970s fashion, and American Pharaoh's turquoise with a Z for owner Ahmed Zayed. The Jockey Club in the United States has 39 base designs that can be customized with various colors, letters, and emblems. There are 19 different templates for sleeves. In Great Britain, 25 base designs and 12 types of sleeves. More than 30,000 unique silks have been registered in America. For owners without customized silks, there are house silks that a horse will be assigned by post position number. Red for one, yellow for four, turquoise for nine, and other colors of the rainbow in between. Silks are part of what makes horse racing one of the most colorful sports in the world.